the Blue Jays and Jesus. You might wonder now, what connection is there between the Blue Jays and Jesus? Well, imagine this. It's the ninth innings of the World Series. The Blue Jays are drawing, tying the game. And they are on the edge. The crowd is tense. Josh Donaldson is on third base. Batista on second base. Incarnacion is on first base. And in comes Turowitzki. The crowd is crazy. The game is tied. You can't hear anything except the cheering. Go, Jays, go. And now Tulevitsky is on the count of three and two. Well, maybe that's imaginary. Let's hope it happens. Well, what has that got to do with Jesus, you might say? Well, think about this. First base, Encarnacion. Each one of the names of these big hitters is directly connected to Jesus Christ. Encarnacion is the Spanish for incarnation, which is the coming into the flesh of Jesus. The Bible says the word, that is Jesus, became flesh and dwelt for a while among us. To get to first base, first base in faith, you need to understand and believe that Jesus was born of the Virgin Mary and that he took on human flesh. He became one of us. Second base, Batista. That's again the Spanish word for Baptist and speaks directly of the fact that Jesus, when he was about 30, was baptized in the River Jordan by his cousin John the Baptist. That was an unusual, strange, unique event in the River Jordan. And as Jesus came out of the water, the Spirit of God came upon him as a dove and a voice from heaven cried this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased Bautista baptism Jesus entered the waters of baptism to show his unique relationship to the spirit and his unique relationship to his father God as the unique son Encarnacion Batista and on third base is Josh Donaldson Josh comes from the English Joshua which comes from the Hebrew Jehoshia the Greek form is Jesus Jehoshia means the Lord saves the angel told Mary and Joseph at Jesus birth to call him Jesus or Joshua you shall name him Jesus for he will save his people from their sins Jesus saved us from our sins when he died on the cross as he took our guilt and our blame into himself as a unique sacrifice for all people. Interestingly enough, Joshua's second name is Adam, which means man. Jesus is both the Savior, Joshua, and he's the man for us who entered a human body to take our human sin. He is the second Adam. The first Adam brought death and sin. The second Adam brings life and goodness. Home plate. We hope all of those runners can come home to home plate. Jesus has already gone to home plate. And he's inviting us to meet him there for the eternal game 
of faith and love in heaven. He said, in my father's home are many rooms. I'm going there to prepare a place for you. And so you and I are coming into bed. It's the game of faith. There's a lot at stake. And we each need to pass from first to second to third base. At first base we can come to understand Jesus came into this world as the Son of God, born with human bone, skin and life. But we need to come to second base where we understand that Jesus has a unique relationship with the Jewish people. He's the Messiah Christ. The Spirit came upon him at his baptism and he is favored uniquely by God his Father. But especially we need to get to third base else we cannot come home because at third base we come to trust in Jesus as the one who is our Joshua, our Savior. And through that we have a new life because Jesus rose again for you and me. So think about that. Have a bit of fun. And let's get to home plate. Jesus is our captain. The Holy Spirit is our coach. And you know there's a free entry into the game. No cost. Jesus paid it all. And he's inviting us to join his team. So enjoy the series. Go Jays, go.